What's up, people? GNR TV, streaming done right. It has all the channels that you would want. You know, the regular channels, channels from out of state, pay-per-views, sports, the movie channels, porn. It has over 2,000 channels in general. Over 2,000 channels. $20 a month for two devices now. Not one, but two devices for 20 bucks, and you get all that amazing stuff. And I know what you're thinking. Oh, there's no sports right now. There's not really many pay-per-views. Well, guess what? There is sports because UFC is back. And there's pay-per-views because guess what? UFC is back, and the rest of the sports will be back eventually, and it's worth it. This app is freaking amazing. I highly, highly, highly recommend it. I've had it for a little over a year now. I'm never going to get rid of it, and I love it. I love it so much. GNR TV, streaming done right. If you don't have it, you need to get it. And enjoy the rest of the show. Let's get slicing and dicing with Sir Sturdy Horror fans. On this podcast, you will hear me and a guest do some movie reviews, random funny horror chats, and whatever else comes to mind. So tune in, kick back, relax, and always remember, I'll see you in your nightmares. Jason's mask. How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? For another episode of Horror with Surf Thirty, I have my guest again, Zombie Barbie. Zombie, how's it going? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. And tonight we did uh, the reanimator. And this is only like a second time watch for me, I think. Second time watch. Yeah, it is a second time watch. Watched it a couple of years ago. And it's not a, it's definitely not one of my favorite horror movies. It's not bad. I do like this. I love the special effects in it. Mm-hmm. Just the movie itself didn't really do much for me. The special effects were cool, but it was one of those movies to where it was like, middle of the road type like it wasn't bad it wasn't great it wasn't it wasn't even good it was like okay ish you know maybe i'll say good but not on a scale of like just holy shit i gotta see this again like this movie on this list that i'm doing this 50 list i forgot the hell the 50 list is called but this movie on this list which i know there's other ones but just saying it right now Mm -hmm. the movie will probably be like a one time well two time watch this is my second time technically i guess my third time because i have it playing in the background on mute so, okay, three time watch, <laughs> and then I don't see. I honestly don't see myself going back to this movie. And it's just because it just it had like cool, cool, cool effects, cool parts in it, but not to the point where it's just like, holy shit, I need to go back and watch this again. I just yeah, I don't know. It was for me, not just for me. It was like tough, kind of tough to hold my attention through the whole thing. So I, I just I was more. This was like I was watching it because I had to. Now I love the. The green liquid, the neon green liquid. I was just going to say that. The and green liquid was cool. I like that. Just the look of it is awesome. And it makes me think of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. The green ooze that, you know, mm-hmm. put them. Secret in the of the ooze. Yes. <laughs> that, that, that's where I went with this. Even though Secret of the Ooze is older than, or sorry, newer than this movie. But that's where I went with it. Like, Holy shit, yeah, Ninja Turtles. Cool. Mm-hmm. And just like, like I said, then the special effects were cool in this movie, but. Other than that, there really wasn't much. I mean, yeah, there was nudity, of course. Cool. But other than that, there really wasn't much for me to grasp on to want to watch this again. This is, again, I watched this movie because of the list. I'm trying to knock this 50 list out. Mm -hmm. And that's pretty much it. Like, as far as, well, that's what I have for this second, I'll say. That's that's it for this second. What do you have about to say about this movie? I, I've i seen it quite a few times. Um, I think last night was the first time in years that I've gotten through all of it. Um, I like it. Again, you know, it's not one of my favorite. It's, you know, it is a classic, but it's not one of my favorite classic films. Um, I agree with you. Love the special effects. Most of them, at least. Um, loved the ooze. I did like the two main actors. Um, and I don't remember their names, but Dan the boy you know the doctor that's mm-hmm. like the boyfriend trying to save her and all that stuff i did like him um he reminded me of uh, freddie prince jr he totally looked like him who's who was he in i know that name 
I know what you're talking about. Scooby Doo. I know what you did last summer. Okay, I got it now. I know what you're talking. Uh, about. A lot of those older teenager. Um, yeah. and then I did like the scientist. I don't remember his name. Um, you know Barbara Crampton. I like her. But, uh, you know, it's kind of the same as you. It doesn't hold my attention completely to where I'm like, oh, my God, we got to watch this movie. But I probably will watch it again just because, you know, I have seen it a bunch of times. And so many people love it, though, which is funny. Like, a lot of people love Reanimator. They do, which, I mean, I, I do understand why. they got. I'm sure they got awesome parts from it besides the special effects and stuff. I'm sure people, I know they have a cult following, but it's just... Oh, yeah. And... I don't know. There, I don't. I wish I liked this movie more. I really do wish I liked this movie more. But I just, and it's one of those movies. I was gonna say it's one of those, like where I try my best now when I'm watching a horror movie, especially especially when I'm gonna review. But just in general, to not be on my phone and like just scrolling through Facebook and Google and a bunch of shit, mm-hmm. YouTube and all this other stuff, and I could not like I could not put my phone down during this movie, which is bad. And it's been. <laughs> I don't mean it was a bad movie. It, it just didn't like it. Just didn't grab my attention. It didn't hold my here and there. I had my attention for bits and pieces, and then it was just like, okay, let me just check this mm-hmm. out. Check out this horror stuff. Check out this car. Whatever. Whatever. What I don't remember what the hell I was looking at, but this didn't really hold my attention too too much. You had when the people came back to life as zombies or whatever you want to call them. That was cool. Hmm. But I still feel like it could have been done a little bit different, a little bit better. I thought I did think it was really cool though. But one part I did find hilarious is when the uh, the security guards he's obviously looking at a, a porno magazine. I don't remember what it's called in the movie, but he's looking at it and then he closes it and he smiles. And he's like it's break time and just gets up and walks away. So we we know what he was getting ready to do. Oh, I missed he, that part. <laughs> I didn't even see that part. It, it's the part where the doctor. Well, the doctor goes down into the. I'm guessing he's going into the morgue, and he had it's mm-hmm. like how his head's already cut off. He has like the other head on. Oh yeah, yeah. Mask on, and his ear falls off at one point and falls on the floor. And the doc, and that's yes. what I asked about the doctor, but he never looked on the floor. You see the ear, and I didn't like the way the ear looked. That's one thing that bothered me. I didn't like the way the ear looked, and um, the guy didn't look down at the ear. The security guard looked down at the ear, and the doctor kind of just said, "Yeah, it's Doctor So and So," and went in the room and did whatever he did. I mm-hmm. thought the talking head was fucking awesome. That was probably one of the best parts in the movie. Yeah. I, I thought that was, they did that really well. Really, really freaking well. Mm-hmm. I think that positive thing about it. <laughs> My favorite part was when the, he threw the head at the fucking wall and it like splattered <laughs> across the wall. <laughs> did you see that when he chucked it in the hallway? Mm-hmm. <laughs> that was my favorite part of the movie. <laughs> Just the way it, it like hit and just smeared and splattered. I was like, oh my god, he just like threw that fucking head at the wall. <laughs> yeah. This, like I said, this movie had its parts. It had some fun parts. And then it was just, it was too, it was a lot really up and down. Really, really up and down. Yeah. Like the action parts in the movie were pretty cool. But still, it just, I think for me, it's the story. There wasn't really too much of a story with it. Mm-hmm. And not that horror movies need like a in depth story. But it does help, and I feel like with a movie like this, it would help a lot. Maybe if there was a backstory about the doctor, kind of sort of like why he's doing this. I don't remember them really ever explaining it. Maybe he did. I just mm-hmm. didn't pay attention. And just I mean, kind of, yeah, I don't know. I don't just more of a story to this. Just something, something that's like an in depth story with crazy shit going. Maybe if they had it where crazy shit's going on because this doctor doing what he's doing his experiments, and people trying to figure out who's doing it and why, and they see. He's either doing it for a good or a bad reason, of course. Or either way, the bad mm-hmm. reason. But you know what I mean? Like, good reason in quotes, I'll say, or a bad reason. Yeah. But just kind of, like, figure out why he's doing it. There was just, like, he was just doing it from the beginning. He gets arrested or something happens in the very beginning because it's going on in the very beginning of the movie. And just, I don't know. I just wish they had some sort of a story to it and kind of made it make sense for, you know, us, us viewers. Even mm-hmm. though, like, as you said, though, there's a lot of people that love this freaking movie, so... This could be yeah. some fair horror movie. I can't bash him for it. I can ask him how, why and how, but I won't bash you for it because, you know, everybody has their own taste. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Well, and their artwork for it is they have the 
best artwork, their posts, I mean, all those posters that are flipping through, those are really good. The shirts that they make are good. I love the artwork, but I just, you know, like you expected it to be a little bit better. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. If this movie lived up to the artwork, this movie would have been amazing. Yeah. If it lived up to the artwork. And as far as the artwork goes and the posters and shirts, I would, I collect horror shirts, so I would get a shirt of this movie. I don't, I'm not Me a fan of the movie. But I would definitely get a shirt of this movie just because the, the artwork is so like even if it was one any of these freaking pictures behind me. Mm -hmm. make, I love that one. We'll make an awesome shirt. Yeah. Any of them. That one right there. That one's cool. Mm-hmm. That one. And then yeah, that one's cool too. There's one that I like a lot more than that. That one. That one. That's the one mm -hmm. I'm, I honestly I do them all. I do any of them. Yeah. But I just. This is one of those things, and I've said this on another show too, where the movie cover doesn't live up. The movie doesn't live up to the movie cover. I know they say don't do the book by its cover and blah blah blah, but it mm -hmm. does kind of suck sometimes when you have a awesome movie cover and then the movie's just like it's either okay or it's garbage, or mm -hmm. not even it's good or it's garbage. It's like yo, this cover's fucking awesome. This movie's fucking awesome. That's what you want. Versus this yeah. again, don't judge a book or movie cover. You can see a movie with a shitty cover, like a boring ass cover. I wish I could something come to mind. And then the movie's just like, holy shit, that movie was so fucking cool. Like, mm -hmm. We we gotta fix this. Let's let's start judging shit by its cover. If your movie sucks or is not that great, don't go all that crazy on the artwork for the box. <laughs> don't do that. Yeah. And yeah. then the movie's amazing. Let us know that it's shitty. Yeah, just go take the extra mile and just you know do a little thing to pretty that thing up. Mm. Speaking of cool covers, mm -hmm. really quick. Friday the Thirteenth. Did you see that? Screen Screen Factory's dropping all twelve movies on Blu-ray. It's gonna be like a sixteen Blu-ray thing, hundred and sixty bucks. They're having pre-orders now. I'm actually gonna try to order one next week if possible. And it's coming on October thirteenth of this year, which is on a Tuesday, which is strange. So they should have waited till November thirteenth, which is on a Friday. Which is on a Friday. Mm -hmm. That's a story for another day. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm excited about it. Like when I seen it, I was just like, "Holy fucking shit!" Because I missed when they did it a few years ago with the um the Steel Book, yeah, movies. I missed out on that. I kept Aww. saying, "I'll get it later. I'll get it later. I'll get it later." And then later came, and now it's like three, four hundred dollars. So this one, I'm like a buck sixty. Like the box art is cool. Like because the, they come in like a big box with all sixteen Blu-rays. The box mm -hmm. art is cool. The po they have a poster for it and a few other things. It's just. Gotta wait till I get the money. <laughs> the extra money for something like that. Yeah, for sure. And I see now, yeah. like, holy shit. I think um, Henry actually tagged me in it. I believe the other day. I was like, that's fucking awesome. Nice. Um, I heard about it because my friend does movie reviews and, you know, like, what do you call it? Like, movie hauls and stuff. Uh -huh. And so he did all these movie hauls and then he was talking about that coming out. And then I think he's, sell I think he's selling his steel one. Probably a lot of people are because they want to get the new one. But mm -hmm. the thing with the steel one is like a lot. I think when they first came out, they're between sixty and eighty. I don't remember what it is, but now you're seeing them for mm -hmm. two hundred and up to like four or five, six hundred dollars. Damn. Yeah, I'm like, I'm not. I'm not. Holy shit. I'm, I, no, that's crazy. I want the new thing that's coming out though, because it's supposed to have more extras than the last one did, as far as on the actual Blu-rays. And just if I can get it. It's gonna be freaking great, and I'm gonna be. Hell yeah. and, it, and it's one of those things. Honestly, if I had the money to, I'd buy two or three of them. I'd buy one that I open. I buy one that I don't open, and I buy one that I'd sell in a few years. Because I know a lot of yeah. people are buying a bunch of their selling in a few years or right away. People yeah. Buy, oh yeah. Sold out. Boom! Double the money. Three twenty mm -hmm. really quick, and it sucks in a sense because you can't go out and do it. Like I can't just go out and grab a bunch. But I, I respect it because I'm like, hey, I mean, it's legal. You're doing it. Why, why the fuck not? If you can. But yeah. It does suck. As, as I said, you, I, like, I can't just hop up. Like, yeah, I'm going to go grab six of these or one of these even shit. Mm -hmm. We'll see. We'll see what happens. It's totally worth the money, though. Like, I mean, you know I'm not a huge Jason fan. But if, like, a Nightmare on Elm Street came out like that or Evil Dead. I mean, there's not that many Evil Dead. But if they came, and that's my dog making that weird sound. Just down there snoring. Um, but anyways, if Nightmare on Elm Street came out, I would totally spend the money. 
um I would too for Nightmare on Elm Street Halloween even like oh um, yeah Evil Dead I would say they could do because Scream Factory does like a lot of cool things even like a solo movie or like a, you know solo trilogy or whatever case may be mm-hmm. just a box set for that is gonna be freaking awesome I would love to have that so hopefully they do come out with those ones as well. Well, they come out with the, what they do is they come out with the best one first, like they did with Friday the Thirteenth, and then they'll put the other two out and see how they do. Okay. You gotta start out strong. Start out strong, and then you like, whatever. It's pulled out, so now let's see what these guys do. Whatever. <laughs> but it's I'm exci- I'm so excited for it. like when I seen I was like holy shit I gotta get this and it, I feel it is worth the buck sixty, just for the simple fact they're getting oh, six movies. Well, it's 12, 12 movies, and then it's 16 Blu-rays total because there's, like, special features and some oh, of them. Oh, okay. And Part 3, not there's there, they have a 2D version of Part 3 and a 3D version of Part 3, and the 3D is supposed to be better on its Blu-ray than, of course, when the 3D version came out in the 80s. Dang. So I'm excited. Like, I, I'll be – I'll put it this way. I'm excited that it's coming out. I'll be more excited when I actually purchase it. When I get – no, yeah, oh, I, yeah. I purchased it. Because I'm gonna tell you, I'm telling people right now, I'm gonna be mad as shit if I don't get if I can't purchase it. <laughs> I don't care if it came out. Then I'll be like, you know what? I don't give it. I won't care if it came out then. Fuck it, because it ain't mine. So I don't give a damn. Yeah, I'm yeah. That, I'm that type of person. I'm a horror fan. <laughs> Jason's my favorite. Not really my favorite movie. I don't think I have a favorite horror movie. Mm-hmm. I'm more of like a mood horror watcher or, or podcast horror watcher. But um, yeah, so. Very excited and happy and all that good shit, but not so excited if I don't get it. I'm like, you know what? Yeah. So when they hear, you know what? That, that Blu ray came out. Did you fuck it? Fuck that Blu ray. That's what I'll start saying. Fuck that Blu ray. Yeah. I'm going shit. Why? No, <laughs> did you get it? Yeah, one seat is smacking at your damn hand. Not, <laughs> <laughs> not either one of us have it. <laughs> or take it and run. <laughs> or that. Now I got one. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, bitches. <laughs> yes. Do they only do like a certain amount of them or what? I'm not sure. I could have sworn. I read on, I think it was the Screen Factor said they were only doing 13, what's that? 130,000 or 13,000? I don't remember now. I forgot. I feel. I think it was a limited number, whatever it was. But I, I had, oh, man. But I'm just, I was, I was like, that's so fucking stupid. Why do you guys do shit like that? Just sell them out. You know, make X, don't make X amount. Just do it for, even if you do it for like a year or two and then stop selling after a year or two and then yeah. cut it off. But give people time, especially with this shit going on now. Mm-hmm. But uh, like I said, we'll see what happens. Too early to call Santa Claus. It's not December yet. And it's coming out in October, so. Yeah. It's not coming out on Halloween or else I'll ask Michael Myers to give me a copy. <laughs> That'd be awesome if it came out on Halloween. It would be. I, th- I really think it would have been a better drop for him if they waited one more month. Friday the, thir- Friday the 13th should come out on Friday the 13th. Agreed. How simple as that. Not Tuesday the 13th. There is nothing scary about Tuesday the 13th. There's nothing Tuesday the 13th. <laughs> yeah, because it's not a Tuesday. And, I mean, yeah, that Tuesday's payday for me, but most people get paid on Fridays. And I'm like, look, I already got my money on Tuesday. I'm ready for Friday. But, again, that's just me. Friday the 13th. So maybe you'll get it because of that, because you get paid on the Tuesday. That's if it's not sold out, though, because I might have to pre-order it. Mm-hmm. That's we'll, true, we'll, too. We'll see. Something and what is it, Scream Team releasing? Is that what you said? Scream Factory, I believe. Scream Factory. Oh, okay. Amazon's selling them, too. But I want to get this. I would like to get the Scream Factory on, because I think they do a little bit more than Amazon. I'm not sure. I've done zero research. If they do the same thing, then we'll see. We'll just see what happens. <laughs> I guess that's we'll play it by ear. Like I said, you guys will know mm-hmm. within. But put it this way: by October thirteenth or whenever the thing comes out, and everybody starts getting them and showing them off on their videos and pictures. If you don't see me with it, don't ask me about it. Don't even mention it. Just oh, like so. How your box set? <laughs> I'm just gonna do you Nicolas Cage movie instead. Oh, no. <laughs> Never that. <laughs> box set of all Nick Cage's movies. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you right now, if somebody sent me that as like a joke, I'm either going to destroy every single one of those movies on video, or I'm just going to send it to somebody else. <laughs> I'm like, hey, listen. Do it as a giveaway. <laughs> yeah. 
do it. I'll do, when I, as a matter of fact, here's exactly what I do. I do it as a horror giveaway. Act like the person that sent me these damn movies won and just send it right back. To, <laughs> here you go. <laughs> what do you, want you won your shit back. <laughs> Good job. Oh, man. So <laughs> Reanimator. Reanimator. So I started to watch, I was telling you earlier, I started to watch Bride of Reanimator last night after I watched Reanimator. And I thought that the scientist died because when that thing wrapped around his mouth and he like threw his bag to the doctor and um, Meg or whatever, mm -hmm. I thought he died. He didn't die. He comes back. And it's weird because it starts off all weird. It's like, the doctor, you know, Dr. Dan and then um, the scientists, they're like over where there's this war happening and he's reanimating all the bodies like of the soldiers and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I didn't get too far. I just saw that part. And then he has the heart of Meg and wants to bring her back somehow. But I don't think they have her body. I don't know. I didn't get that far, but I fell asleep. I don't blame you. <laughs> yeah. It was just weird. Like, it was different. Like I said, I, I didn't hate this movie. I just didn't really... I just... I, it didn't hold my attention for too long. Just here and there, here and there, here and there. And I do, like I said, I know that this movie has a huge, huge following. I know there's a lot of people that love this movie. There's many people that watch this up and say, Aaron, you're crazy. Why don't you really like this movie? Why don't you... It's just not for me, I guess. It's just not for me. And mm -hmm. shit. Like, if I was to give it a rating, which I'm going to give it a rating, from a negative 10 to a positive 10, I'll give this movie. Uh, let me think about this. Let me, let me really think about this. You'll one. rate it on green oozes. Five green oozes is what I'll give this movie. It's like in the middle. It's something that I, I honestly don't see myself going back to. I would definitely, definitely get a shirt though. Like if I see a reanimated shirt I like, I would definitely get the shirt because I think the artwork is amazing. Um, yeah. I wouldn't recommend this. Well, I wouldn't recommend this movie. This movie doesn't have a search study approval, in my opinion. But I would never tell you not to watch a horror movie. So. To me, this is on the borderline of watch at your own risk. It's again, it's not horrible, but it's just not something I would go back to. Like, I really don't see myself ever going back to it unless I'm on someone else's show and I might review the movie. Other than that, I wouldn't even bring it back on my show. Like, there's movies I brought back on my show, like mm -hmm. Killing, of course, and I'm gonna bring it back oh. one more time <laughs> just because I love that movie. So <laughs> I don't know why. Of course, and it's a holiday. <laughs> it, it, it's a holiday horror movie. I, gotta get the, I guess I gotta get another Thanksgiving. Those are Thanksgiving fun. Thanksgiving horror movie to do for Thanksgiving. Yes, I said that. But what would you rate this movie? Mm -hmm. I would rate it a six. Um, it's not my favorite. It's not the worst. I would watch it again. I have watched it multiple times. I love the special effects. I like some of the actors that are in it. Mm -hmm. Um the artwork is amazing. Oh, and the soundtrack. So the, the score, I kept trying, I, I couldn't place it. And it's like, I kept hearing it. And I'm like, I know there's another movie that has the score. I kept thinking, and it's the one that kind of played through the whole movie. And so I kept thinking it was um, Beetlejuice. And so when I started researching it, it said that it was kind of taken after Psycho. Oh, wow. But I still think it was in Beetlejuice, too. Yeah. That's cool. So I'm like, God, that is so familiar. Like, I can place the movie, but I can't quite place it. Yeah. And so um, whoever, and I could be wrong on this, but it's kind of what I got out of what I was reading about it. The composer did it that way on purpose. And I want to say he may have worked on Psycho. I could be totally wrong, but there was some kind of connection. Mm -hmm. But I still think it was on Beetlejuice. But, um, I mean, I I like it, don't love it. Definitely would watch it again. Maybe recommend it, I don't know. Um, it's, you know, it's a fun movie. It's just it's yeah. not, not my favorite. 
Yeah, yeah. It, it, like I said, it's not. Uh, a, I guess six green oozes. Six green oozes, and I gave it five. Um, yeah, it's, it's definitely not mm-hmm. a bad movie. It just, I don't know, just like I said, didn't hold my attention. I wouldn't go back to it. Special effects were great. Special effects were fucking awesome. I love special effects. The mm-hmm. green ooze was awesome. I would actually like to get a replica of like the green ooze with the little yeah, the little container to hold it and the little needle. That would be cool. yeah. I wanted to make a bath bomb for my horror bath bombs. I was gonna do a green ooze one because I have glow in the dark powder for the bath bombs. Nice. So at some point I will make it. There you go. And I was gonna put it in those big huge syringes. Nice. See that would be cool. And then it would glow. Mm-hmm. That'd be cool. But so I will do it. But yeah, this gotta get the time. <laughs> I, uh, trust me, I know. With this though, I guess we could be we could wrap this one up. And if there's First of all, thank you for coming on my show again. Thank you for having me. I love it. <laughs> then I, anything that you want to plug, go right ahead. And your links, I will post them down below on the description thing for YouTube and every other platform that it comes out on. Okay. Awesome. Um, so I have two books out, Broken Halo and Broken Halo Blood Curse, available on Amazon and Kindle and print. My third book in the series will be coming out, I believe it's in March. Um, It's called Broken Halo Witch's Game. Um, I have two movies out right now. Uh, One is available to order. It's called Dark Web Mystery Box. So if you go to um, Grave Dirt Dirt Clothing um, or Mort House Films, they have it available. You can also watch it on YouTube, though, as well. Um, the other one is COVID 2024. Um, that one was directed by uh, Lauren Lepre. Oh, and then uh, Dark Web was directed by Tony Newton with Bestra Pictures and Josh, Sol- Josh Schultz from Mort House Films. Um, I just got cast in a movie directed by Spencer Gray called Axe to Grind 2. And it has um, Stormy Daniels, Debbie Rashawn, Devony Penn, and a bunch of other big names in it. So... I think we're going to be filming in December. I'm super excited. Um, check out my my podcast as well on YouTube, Sinister Parlor Podcast. Um, I'm on YouTube, uh, Instagram, Facebook, iTunes, Spotify, Google Podcasts, and I think that's it on me. Awesome. Definitely go follow <laughs> And again, I'll have all the links provided so you guys can click on all those links and follow her and check out her movies and all that other cool stuff get her books and as far as following (laughs) myself i have a horror research 30 facebook group feel free to share anything and everything in the group including your own projects podcasts as long as it's horror related share it in there if it's not horror related it will be deleted simple as that (laughs) that's like my only rule if it's not horror related don't do it you're gonna get deleted oh yeah not you yeah post will get deleted not you not the person unless it's like a continued thing of doing it doing it doing it and peace but yeah and then as far as i have a horror story study facebook page that's where you can whenever stuff goes on where i'm going to a con again or whatever anything horror related like that that i'm involved in it'll be posted on the page as well as my podcast will be posted on the page instead of me sharing it in the group and the page i'm just gonna put the podcast on the page um and as far as where you can listen to my podcast, you can listen You can listen slash watch it on YouTube. You can listen to it on Spotify, iTunes, Google Play, anywhere else podcasts are played. You can listen to my podcast, anywhere they're streamed. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. My Twitch channel, horror underscore with underscore sir underscore 30. I've been saying this for a while now. I will be getting back on there soon. You go back and watch my old videos for now. I will be getting back on there eventually and gaming and having some fun again on there. Just been busy. Uh, and then if you want to be on this episode, not this episode, sorry. If you want to be on an episode, because this episode, <laughs> I can see this episode's going to be way over with. It's going to be done. But uh, <laughs> email horrorwithsir.30 at gmail.com. Again, that's horrorwithsir.30 at gmail.com. And you don't have to have a podcast. You don't have to have a YouTube channel. You don't have to be in movies. You just got to be a horror fan and come on here and want to talk some horror and review a movie with me. At, at the very least. If you have all those other things, that's cool, too. We can discuss that. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for listening. Again, go follow Zombie Everywhere on social media, people. Not in person. Don't stalk people. <laughs> on social media is what I mean. Don't take that little <laughs> No, that's not what I meant. Go follow me. He everywhere. said go follow you. 
follow me everywhere as well on social medias all the links that are provided that I've told you guys about and that'll be provided and given and all that good stuff thank you again for coming on this is a good time it's always fun and as always I'll see